name is Dayton Scott. Uh, I am from Ashdown, Arkansas, and I will be talking about uh, scriptures of, of, of about fear. Um, the Bible says, be anxious for nothing because tomorrow will worry about itself. So for the ones that are fearful, well, you have to put God first in everything because whatever, whatever our faith is, that's where our focus is going to be. If our focus is on fear, that's where our faith is going to lie. But if we focus on God, that's where our faith will be able to grow and we'll be able to love each other. So no matter where you're black, white, Hispanic, or anything like that, you just have to be be watchful of what you say and do to other people, but also have to love love unconditionally too, because that's what God did for us when he sent Jesus, even though we didn't deserve it. But um, for, for that, it's just, we all have to love each other so much because the, the world we live in today is crazy. And for the generations that I'm in, they say we're the change, but we also, we also have to lead for other generations so that they can um, include the change by themselves. So we have to set a standard because God always already set the standards for us. So this is my encouragement to you today. We all are part of one race, one race under God, and you have a blessed day and thank you. I want to encourage everybody to know this one thing, that we absolutely do have a black and white issue, issue in the United States and across the world. And the issue is a black heart versus a white heart that's been washed with the blood of Jesus. If your heart's not white as snow, you don't have the ability to love your neighbor as you love yourself. And a lot of people have not been afforded the possibility of growing up in Christian homes. They don't understand how to love anybody because they don't understand how to love themselves. So I want to encourage everybody to know this that God has adopted us all as his sons and daughters. And he wants us to grow in grace and mercy. And the only way we can grow in grace and mercy and in his love is by giving that out unconditionally to other people. We've all had hardships. We've all been through a lot of things. My family's been through a lot itself and a lot of areas of life. And I want you to know that we have been successful. We have had joy in the midst of tears. We have had everything that we needed in a time of sorrow. We have uh, endured because Jesus and his love in us caused us to endure. We've had lots of opportunity to have hurt feelings towards people that have said horrible things, that have done horrible things. But you know, the greatest love that we can give to one another is the love that's undeserved by that person that we're giving it to. Because that's exactly what God did to us. He gave us undeserved love. And so if we will remember where we came from, it will be easier for us to give that love unconditionally to other people. God bless you. Have a great day. I love you.